police are getting their riot gear on right now. Hilo up here. You have people throwing glass bottles and banging on the cop cars. I tried to go live on the live view and I couldn't get it to work. So I would have had crystal clear 1080p live streaming. Probably would have been the clearest live stream out here by far, but I could not get it to work. Yeah, David is here with me. I'm not sure where he's at. As soon as we jumped out of the truck, I was still setting up. And uh, David took off. Mostly it's a, it's a live streaming device that's hooked into the... So this camera is supposed to broadcast live. This is to watch the live stream. That broadcasts it. But this thing isn't even working right now. And then the body cam for when they steal all your shit and tackle you and you still got a camera on you. Everything else is just batteries and power to keep it going for stream for eight hours, nine hours. <clears throat> yeah, I thought they were sicking a dog on us.
to the center! Terry coming up this way. People throwing stuff. First fire of the night. Top cocktail? No. And we got this dude about to fire into the crowd. Hey, what's up, man? Is that the police shooting that shit? Throwing it back. Thank <laughs> you. 
What's your guys' deal? You guys trying to look for an excuse to kill somebody else? Is that what you're doing? Why are you antagonizing? No, that's you. You saying back up, please. Why are you telling your guys to antagonize? Why are you telling them to antagonize? There it is again. Y'all wasn't smiling in 2016 when five cops died. It wasn't funny then, was it? It wasn't funny in 2016 when five of you got shot down. Is it Is it just protocol to antagonize protesters? Is that just protocol to antagonize protesters? That's all they do, G. Yeah. I ain't no shit. That's, that's protocol, right? Hey, it put on there. They were shooting that shit at motherfuckers out there. They even in the street, yeah, G. Yeah. Motherfuckers on the side. Every, everyone on this section has been quiet. Well, they've been cheering, but they're on the sidewalk. People over there were, were hitting the cars and stuff and throwing things, but nobody in this area over here was doing anything but standing on the sidewalk, some chanting, some cheer, some yelling. But nothing but peaceful protesting over here. And they're and they're throwing these things over here. They have no no Not one person over here got rowdy. Nobody. And this is where they decided to shoot the gas. That's in front of my eye. Yeah. Yeah. 
I said it. That nigga, hey, all the more type of shit. Ain't nobody out here strapped up. Everybody's dead. That's nobody else. You love it. You love it. You love They didn't think it was funny in 2016 when five of them got mowed down. Exactly. It wasn't so funny then. Well, guess what? Now we got trophies on the wall at the police station. They kill a civilian and it's no big deal. You, a cop dies and they got a fucking procession all through town. Yeah. Every cop in the damn area. You know what, though? It's as if some lives are worth more than others to them. But you know what? We need a two for one special. You kill one of our innocent people, two of yours die. That's how it needs to be. I'm going to the back side because it looks like they're getting ready to move. Now, all the people up here have been nothing but peaceful, standing there chanting, but you know, yelling, but nothing else. Really, yeah, they're not, they're not throwing stuff. They're not uh, doing anything violent. Yes, sir. So, hey, can you tell me what the goal is out here tonight for uh, Dallas police? I'm on the sidewalk. Hey, shut the fuck up. What's the goal out here for Dallas police tonight? Peaceful protest? And you think barking stupid fucking orders at people is going to keep things peaceful or no? I mean, I'm not going to do anything but record you being a dumbass, but... So, do you think uh, shooting uh, gas grenades into a peaceful crowd is going to keep things peaceful? What do you think? What do you think? What's your name, buddy? They were throwing rocks at squad. That was over there. Right. So everyone over here on this on this corner has been right. totally peaceful, and that's where they just shot the uh, the uh, gas grenades. Well, let's not be inflammatory. You know what, dude? Let's, let's be an you, no, I'll, I'll, I'll do what I want. You do what you want. How about that? Likewise. Yeah. That's yeah. Fine. But don't make it worse. Shh. Why make it worse? Shh. I'll do what I want. You do what you want. You you want, if you want to lick his boots, go lick him. You want to suck his dick, go suck it. I don't give a fuck what you do. That's not right. I don't give a fuck what no, you do. I want to okay, then de-escalate on his dick. No, you do that. You can do that. You're the one talking about that. Don't be an asshole. Don't be an you asshole. You better keep six feet, motherfucker. Why? Because they're going to keep the peace. While you try to destroy it? <clears throat> hey, the, the peace is already gone, dude. A civilian dies, it's no big deal. A cop dies, and they got processions all the way through town with thousands of cops. You don't get peace when one life is, alleg is, is allegedly worth more or less than another. Man, that's a lot of nice expensive equipment I bought you there. You're welcome. Okay, great. Shitty, huh? You know, it's not like they ever bring up charges on cops unless uh, stuff like this happens. Hey, the road is blocked, man. David, leave. They want to get violent. This is typical of Dallas police. This guy right here is looking at me like he wants to fucking shoot me. He doesn't have a soul. His soul is gone a long time ago. Is that live ammo or is that rubber bullets in there? You getting ready to kill somebody or just split them open? The whole street's blocked off by you guys. 
So you got all these cars right here. And he was telling David not to walk across the street. Now you can't walk at the crosswalk. You can't walk across at the crosswalk because they've got a police line over there blocking you from using the crosswalk. What's up? Nope. I'm live on the phone. I got 2,000 watching. Nice. But uh, the live, I couldn't get the live view up, man. I don't know what's wrong with it. Dude, they hit some lady in the head with that smoke ball. I know. They hit a few people. On the and, sidewalk. Well, yeah, and they hit them over here where, where they were being peaceful. I get why they were shooting them over there yeah. where people were jumping on their cars. Well, they did but they shot them. They intentionally shot them over there where they know everybody's just standing there. What's up? <laughs> so this is this is typical of Dallas police too to try to escalate situations. Um, I mean, there's a damn good chance that the people that were banging on the cop cars are cops. We saw in uh, in uh, having a brain fart up north, Minneapolis, right? That cops were busting out windows. Undercover cops were busting out windows and setting places on fire. And so there's a damn good chance that the violent instigators are cops out here tonight. And they do it so that they have an excuse to beat the shit out of nonviolent people and shoot smoke grenades at nonviolent people's heads. It's, it's typical. I mean, it's, it's nothing new. The only thing is now we've got so many cameras. There's probably a thousand cameras out here. And so we get the face of everybody who's doing that. And, and it's, it almost, almost always ends up being a cop, right? Cops provoking violence to provoke violence. And they're over here laughing. They think it's funny. What? The truth isn't helpful? You're telling your perspective. You can go fuck yourself. I really don't care what you think. I like it. I don't care if you care. All right, then why did you say it? It's bad. It's hey, not helpful. Hey, uh, we got 2,000 people here. Guys, is she helpful? She is trying to de-escalate rather than no, 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 escalate. No, 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 please, dude, dude, please don't please Shut your boot-licking cock-sucking mouth. Yeah. And that's super helpful. Are you trying to help? I'm broadcasting what's actually happening. Police no, and look, not. I've been no, doing this no, for no, years. No, you're not. No, you're Bitch, not. I've been doing this for years. No, you're None not. None of this is new. No, we're talking about you right now. None of this is new. We're talking about you right now. All right. Yeah, all right. All right. How much do they pay you to come out here? Exactly. Exactly. So if you talk about the violence of the police, you get bootlickers over here that say, oh, you're not helping. You're not helping. You're not helping. Look, the violence is violence. What the fuck? What the hell do you want me to say about it? Oh, it's cool. Hey, man, just shoot another person in the back of the head. No big deal. No big deal. But if, but if I say something about it, I'm not helping. We should be quiet about it and pretend it doesn't happen. I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to my audience. <laughs> How much did they pay you to come out here? Nobody paid me anything. All right. How much did they pay you to come out here and, and rabble rouse? What's that? Problems and increase the problem. You're not trying to de-escalate. You're trying to escalate. You're trying to create problems. You're trying to make it worse. Why are you trying to make it worse? What's the biggest... What's the biggest dick you've ever? Hey, you need to back the fuck up, How? son. No, you're I know they. I know they pay you to come out here and do this shit. Dicks. You get the dick. fuck off of me, you, you fucking keep bitch. Sucking, you keep I know what they paid dicks. you to come out here and do. You're a dick sucker. I know because what they paid you to come out here and do. Nobody paid me anything. I'm out here because I care about people. How much do they pay you to create the problems? How much do they pay you to increase the problem? 
How much do they pay? So we got a cop right here. Where? I'm not here because I care about people and I don't want things to get worse. You're going to keep pursuing me? No, I'm just asking why. You're going to follow me? Want to make Come on. I'll, I'll find a dark alley. Let's why go, buddy. Want to make Let's go. Worse. You want to take a walk? walk? Let's go. Let's go. Let's take a walk, buddy. Come on, man. Hey, why, why are you leaving? So he get, he's getting paid to be out here to do this. Him and his, uh, and his hoe over there. So now they're going after the peaceful protesters. I'll tell you what, he was a little too close to my face if uh, there wasn't a... I know what he wanted me to do though. I know what he wanted me to do. All you need is a protester to beat the shit out of that little... Beat the shit out of that little five foot four white dude. That's all they need, right? That's what he's here for. That's what he's here for. So you've got civilians here too. People that were just driving down the road didn't even know what they were coming into. Oh, they got mounted police now. Well, they're pushing everybody back this way now. You got people having to turn around and go the wrong way down the road. You got federal police right here.
So we've got Dallas police out here antagonizing protesters. It is humid in Dallas tonight. It's freaking hot and it's humid. I need to find somewhere to go get some water. How's it going, guys? Hey, I like that. I like that. Yeah. I like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
So I'm going to walk around. Um, I'm going to walk around to every corner, but I'm going to go around the back of the police cars. It looks like... <clears throat> so there was basically two separate crowds there. Two totally separate crowds. Uh, one crowd throwing, throwing things at cop cars. Um, out in the road, blocking the intersection. And another crowd standing peacefully and almost quietly too. Most of them were even fairly quiet. Not that, I mean, not that they need to be, but you know, just saying. And uh, so they, they dispersed the crowd that was throwing things first, but then they went after the peaceful crowd. So I'll, um, I'll show you because the, the crowd that was throwing things went a totally different direction than the peaceful crowd. Somebody says, one peaceful, one paid by Soros. Well, I mean, I don't know. And, and guys, to tell you the truth, while I'm certainly uh, not going to try to incite any violence in any way whatsoever, um, we've been using the court systems for uh, a lot of decades. It's, <laughs> it's not working. All right, the whole system is rigged. And so, I mean, people have been, have been yelling and screaming about it for, for decades now, for a long time. But I believe that this is going to be the inevitable outcome is that things will continue to get more and more and more violent. Um, and these cops that are out here intentionally antagonizing peaceful people um, may actually take the bait and be provoked into doing non-peaceful things by the police. I was talking to David Boren earlier today and he was telling me, you know, I've never had the desire like Otto and Eric Brandt to just say fuck you to a random cop that I've seen. He said, but after being ar arrested two times just for recording them, he has this urge to just yell fuck the police at every single cop he sees. Even when he doesn't even know who they are or what they're about. He's just got this urge now to, to yell fuck the police every time he sees them. But where's the good cop, right? Where's the good cop? good cop would stop the bad cop. There aren't any. There aren't any. I mean, the good cops are quitting, I guess, so they're not. That is a lot of cop cars. And Dallas police are the type to arrest me for cussing at that cop earlier today. Just so you know, if you guys have seen David Boren's arrest by Dallas police, these are the type of cops to arrest you just for saying fuck the police. But they, uh, they'll wait. Wait until later to do it when there's less people. Oh yeah, you better believe it. So, by the way, 
the non-peaceful protesters went that way, which would probably explain why there's a whole bunch more cops coming now. The peaceful protesters, all right, let me show you kind of the, the layout of, of what I saw, what I gathered from what I saw. So, oh, this, this cop car is spray painted, FTP all over that thing. So, uh, oh, the tire's flat too. I'm having trouble with my backup camera. So right over there at the federal building is where the peaceful crowd was standing. And then out in the intersection and over on this end is where the rowdier crowd was. So after they dispersed the rowdy crowd, they still shot smoke bombs into the peaceful crowd over there. And so the, the rowdier crowd went that way, the more peaceful crowd went that way. I'm gonna wait for a green light to cross now because that's what good obedient slaves do. And that's what I am. Um, maybe I'll go up here. Oh, they push people back here as well. Is anybody, wa uh, David having a conversation with a pig? I was just gonna ask, is anybody uh, keeping eyes on David? Th thank you. That sounds like David yelling. They disperse the crowd in about three different directions, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, James Freeman. Yeah, what's up, man? Man, look, we were just watching this video yesterday. The one that he does a uh, yeah. David must be the boyfriend. I'm gonna be a good little boy and wait for that green, uh, that green hand to tell me I'm allowed to walk. Yeah, I'm thirsty. I'm not gonna get a green. Hey, there's David. I thought I heard you yelling over here. Was that you? A minute ago. Yeah. You're loud, man. I can hear your voice. I was all the way down there. And I could hear you yelling. And I recognized it. Hey, I want you to 
they, they, they don't want you to be in the public streets out here. Oh, okay. No, 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 I'm saying Dallas PD. Yeah, 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 right. Everybody off. Right. Sorry, dude. All right, and my battery's dead on my backup camera, and it, the charging cord won't stay in it, right? Oh, now you think I'll kill us after We're great. We're Black Sergeant? Yeah, he seems pretty relaxed. He seems chill as hell. You know, who knows what his officers do when they're not, you know, behind his back. Yeah, 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 he's not... He, yeah. He's a cool dude. Yeah, he needs to throw the badge away. But, uh, he needs to throw the badge away, though. I think they're getting ready to push back again. I'm going to go on this side. I'm just recording. No? Are you guys going to move up? Yeah, fuck you. Hey, we like to go home to our children, motherfuckers. Damn, dude. Yeah, that's what I thought. That was the rowdy or crap. That's that's the way that I wanted to get to. All right, I'm going to try and get around to that side. Yeah. I'm going to try and get to the uh, the crowd that was throwing things because that's where all the other squad cars went. Yeah. <laughs> don't get... nowhere near the violent protesters. Yep. Whatever you do, David, don't get mad. You know how they like to stack charges, guys? And David's got two now. The most I got to was two at a time. And it can get it can get tough to deal with. Yours are both in the same area. Mine was uh, Texas and Arizona, which makes it even tougher. But they loved it. I mean, you saw what they did to Padilla, stacking charges, stacking charges, until even though you're innocent of everything, you can't beat shit. So it, there comes a point where, I don't know, for me at least, Oh my God, I'm going to chill a little bit. I'm going to obey a couple unlawful orders. <laughs> so that I can stay out and stay out of the cage and oh, keep documenting the fall. I can't be on the sidewalk? My apologies, Master. What sidewalk can I be on? Yeah, you're not presumed innocent on any of your charges, so it doesn't matter how many false charges they stack. Stacking charges helps. Helps revoke your bonds. Because you are guilty until proven innocent in this system. So, honestly, they're going to try to kill some dudes on this. Yeah. This end over here. I need some water, dude. They just took five officers from over here. Yeah, and there was a whole bunch that came from up that way down here earlier too. Oh, here we go. You want to be on this side? Yeah.
They're shooting fake ones and then there's like one that they shoot is real. Fuck the police! One of them right between my legs. Shooting stuff at protesters. Uh, this dude's gonna try to target me right now. I can see him. Look. You got some coming this way. You got the mounted units up that way. And uh, Hey, right over there. This is where we're gonna get hit with something, though.
I'm gonna go down that way. You're good. Not enough people. Well, they've dispersed them. Uh, when I saw a when I saw a live view of the crowd out here, around I don't know, I'm gonna say six, maybe seven. There was a lot of people out here, but they're continuing to disperse them, and it looks like um, people kind of just gather back together, though. But you guys have seen the Dallas police is definitely trying to. Definitely, Dallas police are definitely trying to antagonize tonight. You've seen them shooting uh, tear gas at peaceful people. What's your name? James. Freeman? Huh? Freeman? Yeah. Hey, I'd like to be, I'm going to be working on a uh, audio in Dallas. I, I love your video. You know yourself. I'm going to do a lot of research on their laws and regulations. It looks like they're going to try and surround them right now. Yeah. Very nice to meet you. So you too, you man. Really what was your name again? I'm sorry. I was trying cup. to... You know, you get one I, cup. I'm just trying to pay attention to everyone around me. You're a huge fan. I've watched Thank a you. lot of your videos. I like, I like how you're just calm and respectful, but at the same time, you don't take anything. Yeah. For me, it's extremely important. So, hey, keep on doing what you're doing. I watch your videos, really. Thanks, Very man. Awesome. I'm stoked to actually meet you. Dude, I've seen so many of your videos. Hilarious. If you be on, I'd like to see it. He has to be on. He's got to be on. Take care, man. All right, have a good one. I think, uh, I think this is going to be the old corralling people, I think. Hey, what's up, man? Hey, I've seen you out here before. Huh? How are you? I'm good, yeah? Good. I've been watching all your videos. You've been Can out you recording a lot? Yeah. Were you here earlier? Were we here with the flashbangs and all that? Yeah. Okay. You know me, look, I'm always on my bicycle, so. Yeah. Yep, I saw you at the last one out here, man. I, I was, uh, I got here about About the machine. Oh, federal police yeah, car with police. driving around with flat tires. <laughs> And flat tires. Busted window and flat tires. Yeah, I heard about it on the radio. Oh, right on. The whole entire time. I know exactly man. what's going on. And I made this today. I don't mean to interrupt you. I made this today. Oh, right on. PVC pipe, yeah. Five bucks, I made it. That works.
Well, I'd keep moving, but it looks to me like they're about to corral these people. Yeah, yeah, stay back. And so uh, I don't want to get in there or I'll be one of the corralled. All right, I'm going to go up. Throwing, throwing shit at the cop cars. Hey, I mean, people have been peaceful for decades. People have been peaceful for decades. I'm not saying they should be violent, but. Hey, I think they're getting ready to corral people up there, guys. out here with David also. I don't know where he's at now. Do some interviews with people? All right. Oh shit. This is why they stopped. Stop to put shit all over the roads. Man, this crowd is walking briskly though. And I'm too thirsty to be walking briskly. It's not just people out here on foot though. There's a lot of people in their vehicles, too, cruising around. You got that federal police officer driving around on two flats, not giving a shit how much it messes up the rims. He didn't pay for it. Yelling from up here. Should I do an interview with the person up there on the uh, fourth floor from down here? Try and get an interview. Ma'am, what do you think about all this? You're good. You're good. I think he put a head gasket or something like that. Yeah? I think he put a head gasket. His car broke down? Yeah. Well. Yeah, leave it there. I'll come back. I bet it'll be on fire. That cop car broke down.
They are arresting people? They're uh, for about a half hour, an hour ago. Okay. They're going to arrest any agitators. Go up to them and say something, they'll grab you. But that was back there, back there with the, uh, the two guys. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah, I could tell they were about ready to arrest me just for telling one of the cops, fuck you. He's like, hey, stay on the sidewalk. I said, right shut now, the fuck up, dude. Yeah, dude right now, take it, take it. Yeah, be cool right now, though. Yeah. Just watch. Oh, you don't want to be in it? Just watch. <laughs> it's just a live stream. What's that? Back there? James Freeman. James, you see back there? They threw it down on water at the top part back there? On uh, McDonald's right there? I didn't see nothing. People were like, oh. They're throwing it to the people. So was this road already blocked off, or did the, the protesters do? Yeah. yeah. No, 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 no. All this shit's like they're falling over in front of the street as they go. That's that's uh that's kind of funny to me. Sorry. I think that's pretty funny. Hey, you missed it. Hey, we had a tear gas. They. Yeah, You're telling me this shit thing. wasn't up? There's no way. No, there was a the Oh, it was on the sidewalk? Yeah. And they took it out in the street? No, as they go down the street up here, they're throwing it in the street. Nice. Oh, yeah, we're the police. Yeah. all these barricades out in the street as they go through. This is probably the hardest these cops have worked all year. It's probably the hardest they worked all year. compared to what other people are doing. Yeah, you know what I mean? The only thing I don't get is why uh, why private businesses are under attack when there's a lot of uh, government buildings. So the crowd is only about a hundred yards ahead of us. Oh man, see, there's so many government buildings. Yeah, I got the IRS building down there. Yeah. And you're going to hit the Starbucks. You can hear it like crackers. Yeah. The only thing the police really protect, though, is government buildings. And we saw it was actually an undercover cop who busted into the uh, the auto zone out in uh, up north. I, I keep forgetting where it is. Yeah. Minneapolis it was an undercover cop from St. Paul. It smashed out the windows at the auto zone. Oh, wow. So the crowd is only, I don't know, maybe 100 yards ahead of us.
wonder where David's at. I probably need to give him a backup battery. I've got enough batteries to stream for the next 12 hours at least. I bet David's up ahead of me. Anybody, is David still alive? Anybody know if David Boren is still live streaming? I'm gonna try and catch up to the crowd. Damn it. What did 7-Eleven do? Ah, damn it. I wanted to get some water. So in Minneapolis, uh, the people riding around on crotch rockets were actually cops. If you guys were watching in Minneapolis, the guys riding around on crotch rockets were a gang of cop, a cop motorcycle gang. Holy smokes, thank you, Roger Burr. Holy crap. Hey, thanks for the uh, super chats, guys. I'm sorry I haven't been watching the chat. I saw that one. I just happened to glance down. Thank you. You, the officer next to you, the officer next to you, fuck all y'all. There's all these government buildings there. Thanks. Always tripping. Thank you, always tripping. There's a whole bunch from my scene now. Oh, I'm talking about oh, chat. Are you always tripping too? <laughs> this, that's this dude's name in the chat, man. Mrs. Freeman, they're pissed that I didn't recognize them. People throwing super chats. I'm sorry, guys, but this is uh, this is not something where I should be watching the chat. I love you guys. I really appreciate it. I sincerely appreciate it. Um, since I got here, this is the most comfortable I've felt yet to look down at the all oh, the cop throwing stuff right on Mrs. Freeman. This is the first time I've felt comfortable enough to look down at the uh, screen for the most part.
at a rock just fly through here Hey, Keith, Kevin Kaufman, don't, don't worry about it, man. I appreciate you being here. I'm just glad to be out documenting the downfall of the United States. Thank all, thanks always tripping. Louisville, Kentucky. Yeah, it's, it's all across the U.S., man. I don't... I don't know what, uh... Any of the private... I've been... The law will be justice! How many, how many of you guys have seen my videos over the years and heard me tell the police, hey, I'm one of the nice guys. I'm here to talk. The guys that come after me, you're not going to like that. If we can't have a dialogue and get some things fixed, you're not going to like the people that come after me. I'm the, I'm the nice guy. I'm the peaceful guy. But this is inevitable. It, what's going on here is inevitable. You can, you can hate it. You can love it. You, you can be indifferent. But it's inevitable that this would happen. What's up? Is there a wreck? I don't know. Now, over down there, they, yeah. they shot a flash grenade in the air. Oh, did they? And the were all like way over here. Yeah, it don't matter what you think about it, it was inevitable. You know something's gonna happen, babe. I can't. How many times have I told you guys also, yeah. I'm not trying to fix anything, I'm just documenting the downfall. Because We've been, I mean, people have been trying for years, decades to have a dialogue. That's not what they want. That's not what the government wants. Why are they turning? Let's keep going. Huh? Why are they turning? Let's keep going straight. I don't know. What's up? Where's he at? Is he up here? What's your name? Oh, uh, James. James Freeman. Omar. Well, I go by James Freeman on YouTube. <laughs> okay, nice. Meet you, Omar. What's that? Are you on Facebook also? Uh, I am, yeah. Yeah. I keep trying to catch up to the crowd, but then I get distracted because I'm so ADD. I see a cop throw something to the side of the road and I have to turn and watch. I get everything. I see a squirrel and I got to turn around. Thank you, man. Um, it ha the most important part's not even working. Oh, the whole reason for all this is I've got the live view. Right. And so I can actually broadcast in true 1080p. I'm live, yeah, on the main channel. On the main channel. Yeah. Subscribers are recognizing you out here right now? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Kevin Kaufman. So I really want to try to catch up to David. I need to stay focused on that task. See if I can actually do it. <laughs> Everyone's like, is David your girlfriend? 
I've known David for a long time, long before I started doing activism. Close family friend. Um, so yeah, man, I, I like, I like, I, I can't help but try to look out for him. He looks out for me. Everyone's at, somebody was asking earlier, is that, is that James' boyfriend? Well, I mean, not yet, but I mean, I haven't popped the question yet, but you know, we'll see, we'll see. David Boren, he's, he's live right now. If you guys want to see his stream, I think he's up ahead of me. David, B-O-R-E-N. And that's the name of his channel, so. He's up uh, ahead of me, I believe, so. You can probably get a better view of what's going on from his stream right now. I approve of the match, Mrs. Freeman, what do you mean? Oh, the, me and me and David. <laughs> Mrs. Freeman approves. All right, my wife approves. I'm not sure which way the protesters went. Horses are stopping right there. Feel safer behind the horses too. These guys are moving fast. Which way did the crowd go? Which way did the crowd go? We don't know. They went that way, but I think they don't go that way. Oh, they went up there? Uh, thank you. I think they're up that way. I'm gonna walk straight this way a couple blocks in. And then try to cross over. Yeah, they're going that way. I'm gonna see if I can get in front of them. You got one main crowd, but I think you got thousands of people out here in vehicle, in cars and uh, on foot. I've got my tripod, but I can't even use it because I haven't stopped walking. Tripod doesn't do any good when you're moving. Whoops. I can't run, I got too much equipment on me. block 
I think I can hear yelling up that way. Let's see where the helo. Yeah, Jake, he's on the left side. They're to the left? Yeah, All right. I see the helo over there. I thought they might be over there now. No, he's right there. He's watching that way. Is that where the crowd's at now? Yeah, that's where All right. the crowd's are following us. I was trying to jump in front of them. Thanks, man. I'm going to go one more block to get in front of them. Thank you. No, 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 not that David, not that David. Different David. I saw somebody say something about, uh, not David Warden. Oh, that sounds really close, Warden and Boren. Very different people, very different people. David Boren is not David Warden. They do sound pretty similar. No, David Boren is a good dude. He's a genuine person. All right. I'm not in front of him. Probably kind of in the middle here. Now I can tell if someone's a good person or not, it's actually how they treat their wife. So, David is a good man. I mean, that's just how I think. Sorry, now you guys know how I judge people. Come on, don't pretend you don't judge anybody. I'm not sure where David's at. Hope he's not in the middle. Hope he's in the back somewhere. David is in the back of the crowd? All right. We're, we're near the back of the crowd now. I wonder if he passed me already, because now we're at the cops. He's in front of the cops, right? Yeah, David is live. I might have to guess he's up there, because... Uh, news now, Fort Worth. I mean, at the very moment, I'm kind of by myself. David is out here somewhere, David Boren. Tired. I need some water. I know. They sm they smashed the. Uh... Yeah, man. I was gonna go in and get some water. I'm like, great, man. This dude ain't gonna sell me nothing now. I was so excited when I saw that 7-Eleven.
We got the scooters. Everybody protest at that intersection. Yeah, they should have. <laughs> Not hit people upside the head with smoke bombs. Yeah. Especially the peaceful side of the protest. He said, are you Ocean? Who's Ocean? Anybody know who this Ocean is? But this is peaceful compared to what's going on in other yeah. cities and states. Well, and the, one of the differences, people weren't getting hit upside the head with smoke bombs. Right. In the both of Gene protests. Right. That's cool. uh, I don't know. They, the second they shot us with those uh, pepper ball gas balls, yeah. that's when shit started getting rowdy. Once again, police trying to escalate, and it worked. I had to stop. They were singing my favorite song. If you guys don't know what the name of the song is, it's You showed me. <laughs> James was playing with my wood this afternoon. And <laughs> I guess he had all this pickup aggression or something. I don't know. Think he'll let us hang by a drink? Is this one? Whoops. 
Hey, next protest, I'm bringing a truck full of water. <laughs> Just hand out water. <laughs> oh, come on, man. Come on, man. What does 7 Eleven do, man? I know, they're fucking stupid, dude. 7 Eleven didn't do nothing. There's a police station down the road. There's an IRS building. There's all kinds of government buildings. I wish I would have fucking found another fucker did that challenge. There's probably a cop. Yeah, that's... They've been looting Home Depot. Yeah. They've been looting liquor stores. Yeah. They've been drag racing up and down the streets on the residential streets here in Dallas. Uh, they probably run all the drugs in town. You know. I wouldn't hold it past them. That's typical behavior of a game. I don't know though. I mean, when people get mad enough, they'll just do anything. Yeah. I, I've. I mean, I talked before about being backed into a corner. And how sometimes when you feel like you're backed into a corner and there's nothing you can do that, you know, people don't think rationally anymore. They don't think, oh, here, let's let's get a strategy on how to deal with this. They just react because uh, they feel like they're out of logical uh, logical solutions. Do you notice it's all the always the short little fuckers that shoot the tear gas and the rubber balls? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. We did that in the Boston of Junior. Yeah. Scoot over there. Yeah. People are panicking. I mean, I, I'm seriously totally against destroying private property. I really am. I mean, it could be my private property. Again, though, when people feel like they're backed into a corner and nothing works, they don't think rationally, they just act. It's inevitable. It's going to happen. Why do you document everything that is not part of the protest? What's that? Yeah, 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 The crowd is right there in front of me. This is, uh, I've got a super chat. Here we go. HBO Matt. Wells Fargo in Minneapolis is burning. They burned down the police station in Minneapolis last night. 
And that was the uh, the first. That was the first good target that I saw burnt down. Was the Minneapolis police station. Trying to see if they're turning left or straight. Well, on the horse is looking to get back to the motorcycle. I think they went left. more exercise than I've had in a month. gone straight. Yeah, they did. They got AR-15s out there. Yeah. I thought they were turning left. This is too much walking for me. I need to just go get my rig to somebody in the crowd. Here you go, man. Just hold this camera.
GTA wanted level five. Y'all got the GTA wanted level five. I think this is what wanted level five looks like on GTA. Thinks we should bring the guillotine out for the walk tomorrow. You guys remember the guillotine march, where we marched from the park up to the Dallas County Courthouse with a with a guillotine. The guys that built that uh, are here in Dallas, and they've still got it. I think the guillotine should be at the next protest. I hope that was a government building. And bust out this whole this whole building. Just stop. You guys know that I don't uh, condone destruction of private property, but I've told you again and again, this is inevitable. This is just the beginning. I will bet you it gets worse, much worse. I'm not, I'm not out here because I support destruction of private property. I'm just here to document.
but I certainly, I mean, I, I get why they do it. When you've run out of rational, don't, don't split up. When you run out of uh, rational solutions, this is what's left. stage was set with COVID? Yeah. Somebody said the stage was set with COVID. Bob Bobo. So now they're not sure which way, which way they're going. They're going to end up splitting up. Is it just me or is this crowd getting smaller now? Is it dwindling down? I'm getting tired. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. 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 They got the White House surrounded. You telling me there's protesters that got the White House surrounded right now? Now, if all this effort were focused on government only, they wouldn't stand a chance. I honestly think the better option would have been to keep them on the I'm gonna get the, uh, they're gonna be shaking us. I'm gonna put the camera on the tripod. Ah, oh, shoot. hungry and thirsty. Hopefully nobody burnt down the Arby's. It's the new normal, says somebody in the chat. It's the new normal. 
Get used to it, y'all. It's the new normal. You want to catch an Uber? Do you want to walk back to the truck? How far away is it? Like let's, let's walk. Nice bike, man. Damn. I love my brother. AKA. It takes a while to clean, I'd imagine, huh? Yes, sir. <laughs> Chain yeah. fell off. Again. Oh. All right, y'all take care. All right. Have a good one, y'all. Yeah. You know, a lot of times violence begets violence. <laughs> so David and I are probably going to wrap it up here. These guys might be out here all night. Yeah. I can't. Man, right when we got here was when it was really popping off, dude. Right when we got here. I gotta get some water and food. When we got here, there were people in the intersection. I don't even remember where. David knows where we're at, right? Yeah. <laughs> so uh, David's my compass, um, my navigation. But they were in the intersection. There were people banging on the hood of one of the cop cars. And what they did is the protesters just took over the intersection. And the police couldn't just let them do it and say, all right, well, we'll just block traffic at each end and, and just let them stay in that intersection all night. They had to come in and start trying to run people over. bring in the use of force. Yeah. They were flying out there doing like 40 miles an hour right next to people. And uh, unlike what they had expected, people didn't move. They stayed still. And as the cop cars got closer to them, the cop cars started getting tires slashed, windows busted open. Um, yeah, so you can't just let people be angry and use words. They didn't even need to be there. They could have kept this. They could have kept a distance. Oh! They could have kept their distance. Let people be angry. And I know there was no need for everyone to be in the street, but still, like, if they're just going to stay there, man. That's I'd call that a, a win and say, sweet, if that's it, if that's the extent of it. They're going to block this one intersection <laughs> okay. with, with 500 people? Yeah. <laughs> just divert traffic around that one intersection. I get that they shouldn't, you know. It's illegal. I know, I know. You do it for parades. It's no big deal. Yeah, they do it for races. I mean, so they didn't ask master for permission and get right, a permit. Right, right, exactly. That's the difference. They do it all the time with a permit. The difference was they didn't have a permit. Yeah, I got a, a lot of super chats tonight, guys. I really appreciate it. I sincerely appreciate it. I know I missed a whole bunch of them. Because in the beginning, I didn't want to look at the screen at all. <laughs> uh... We had flashbangs flying all around us, smoke grenades. And yeah, there's no need to hit the media with smoke. We had violent cops everywhere. They can't not just not do that. They always got to And the most obvious and blatant form of escalation that i personally saw was you kind of had two separate groups there at the beginning when we got here you had a rowdier group that was in the intersection and you had a calmer group that was on the sidewalk and that calmer group stayed grouped together on the sidewalk and that's where and that's where they shot the smoke grenades was at the calm group i got hit with three of them though it's they want to escalate. They want, I mean, once they've escalated, they've got an excuse to hurt people. Little things to antagonize and poke. But that's what they've been doing for decades. That's what cops have been doing for decades. Antagonize, 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 and then beat the shit out of you. Tell me the sidewalk's closed. There's, they are civilian agitators. 
They're probably walking down to the freeway. Cops are sadistic killers, says Dr. Sean Barry. What's up, man? Got to see if we can uh, get the guillotine to bring out tomorrow night. Okay. Alright guys, thanks for hanging out. I'm sorry I can work you. I'm gonna stay live to it. Yeah, you can't watch your chat when there's when you're surrounded by violent thugs with badges, huh? You turn around for one second, they'll shoot you in the back of the head. There's this one lady, this old grandma that's marching with Martin Luther King in Birmingham, Birmingham Alabama. Martin Luther King asked her, Why are you walking? She goes to fight for my grandchildren. She goes, my feet is tired, but my spirit is strong. Take that to heart. Wow. Yeah, Mrs. Freeman had no idea I was going out. I had no idea I was going out. I was with David. I was helping David move. <laughs> Let's go to that side. It's a sidewalk over here. <laughs> I was with David and... got everything I missed it. <laughs> Um, so yeah, I was, uh, I was helping David move and he showed me a live stream from a helicopter of the protest down here in Dallas. And I said, David, we got to stop moving you right now. We got to go downtown. I took off my work gloves and put on my work vest. I got a vest with all kinds of batteries and cameras on it. I know, I turned around and he has got the trailer on board. Yeah, I unhitched the trailer <laughs> from the truck. We gotta go. I'm gonna stay live until we get probably out of town, out of uh, the downtown area. Because it's the same thing when we're... Hey, thanks, Whisper. Whisper Sonnet. It's the same thing when we're cop watching. You know, we shut down all the live streams. We stop recording. And then they come after us to retaliate. Yeah. So I'm going to make sure we're out of the city before I shut down the live. But we are intend... My, David and myself are intending to wrap it up, heading back to the, heading back to the car and going home. Or this way, this way. That's the intersection where it started, right? Up at the police station. Is that where it was at? Yeah. It was, it was at started. the PD when we came in up that intersection. No, 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 no. Oh, okay. They, they started at the police station, and then they marched over here. This is City Hall. Okay, and yeah, over here though was where the where it got rowdy, where it started getting rowdy. Yeah. Over. They couldn't just let people right be in here. the intersection. Right. They got to try to intimidate, throw smoke bombs at people. Antagonize. Antagonize them. Get in people's personal space. Everything by design says divided we fall. See, this is where their anger needs to be directed at. Yeah. Look the at this house. building. This is City Hall. Not one busted window. <laughs> Not one busted window on City Hall. But they hit all those private businesses. That's what makes me think it's cops. That's why I think it's cops actually doing the damage. Oh, I guess I was on CNN. CNN. Oh, is that who that was? The guy. Something was, I was on uh, CNN. I was next to CNN. <laughs> oh, no, I thought the interview you were just doing was yeah. CNN. Matt told me I was on CNN. <laughs> HBO Matt? Right on. Yelling? Probably. 
Hey, next time they need to come here. Next time they need to come here. Next time all the protesters need to come here. Yeah. Whenever. I don't know. Remind you all who you work for. Who pays your salary. Y'all get too comfortable, man. Dude, Dallas police always want to do something violent. They always want to be violent. They're staring at us right now. Like, how hey, dare? Like, like, how dare you speak to us like that? Me, how, how dare you? You remember uh, 2016? When those five Dallas officers fell asleep? Forever? This is where the, the crimes were committed. This is where citizens were battered and assaulted. Oh, now, there were a few water bottles thrown, and there were a couple rocks. Well, that was after they tried to agitate them in yeah. the uh, intersection. They, esc they escalated, then the public escalated. They escalated, and then public escalated. They could have they they walked off all the circle right here, not even be anywhere near those people. Let them yell and scream and get all that anger out. Do their chance. Talk smack as you walk away from cops. What do you want us to do? Be like them and go shoot them in the back of the head? No, that's all right. We're not. That's uh, that's their job. Right now, I'm using words. I don't I don't use violence. That's not my thing. I'm not in a violent game. I'm all for a peaceful resolution. <clears throat> Private companies will end up getting their insurance. Nonviolence goes a long way. Ah, well, you know, Seek the Truth TV, while I personally will do nonviolence, um, I haven't seen it go anywhere. I have not seen working within the system do change. anything, anything to change what's going on. Every once in a blue moon, they throw people a bone because of protests like this, uh -huh. like Botham Jean, right? But, and they, so they arrested and prosecuted Amber Geiger because people came out and protested like this. For weeks. It took us weeks to get the arrest and then the prosecution. Right, but then she got this light sentence, right? Yep. And did that really change the behavior of any of the other cops no, they on the force? No, they still do the same thing every damn day. Nothing actually changes. Nothing. Zero. Zilch. Nada. People who win case law. I mean, I, I used to hear people all the time tell me, oh, Philip. Uh, uh, Turner versus Driver. He uh, he established court precedent that says we have the right to record in public. <laughs> so now police can't arrest us for doing it anymore. Uh, Are you serious? I've been arrested for twice for just filming. And that's in the uh, the Fifth Circuit area where he won that precedent, right? And David's been arrested twice in the last six months for recording, on, and both times on a sidewalk or on an easement. I mean, again, I don't, I'm not gonna try to incite violence in any way, but I, it's inevitable because nothing peaceful, nothing done within their system actually changes anything. You've still got qualified immunity. You've still got um, police unions. You're going live on Facebook? I never do, but I will. You still got police unions protecting these guys. And let's not just pretend it's just cops judges, politicians, it's the whole system. You can't have one without the other. So while I personally will not get engaged in any violence or any destructive rioting, I'll sit here and document it and say, what did you expect? It was inevitable. So I'd say this is about a mile from the Dallas Police Headquarters. <clears throat> the protest before How we got up here Good. had started maybe an hour, a couple hours before we got here. And uh, we thought we'd actually miss it by the time we got up here. But we thought we'd drive up here and see what was going on. We got up here and by the time we got up here, everybody's at this intersection. And they wanted to sit down and just protest right here at this intersection, it seemed like. They didn't, from what I've seen, they didn't have any desire to move on. 
This is the intersection. They were content at staying here. Well, so the police weren't going to let these people just peacefully and angrily protest and use words. What's at this intersection? Because they're yeah. still here, yeah. protecting this intersection like there's a nuclear bomb here or something that they've got to protect. So I mean, they let them they let them walk the whole rest of the city and destroy shit. Yeah. But but, they th but they're protecting this intersection. That's odd. Let's go find if they want to go, if they want to go loot Home Depot this time. I'm going to try and ask them why they're protecting this. No, this isn't it. Yeah, 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 it is. Okay. So they ran everybody off the trigger. And then there's all these protesters marched through Dallas and started breaking windows and doing other things. But that's after they were getting hit with gas bombs, tear gas. Here, I'll show you the, uh, we'll go look at the other side of that truck and then we'll loop around this way to, now I'm all turned around. That was the direction that the rowdier protesters went. But then they went down the road and looped around, huh? Oh, okay. So I'm really curious why... Uh, hey, what? Oh, I can't go that way? No, we got a lot of protesters coming this way. Oh, okay. I was, They're angry, they throwing rocks right now. I was curious, um, why, it, haven't you guys had this intersection blocked off all night? We got almost every intersection blocked off. We're trying to push everybody down. Okay, I was just curious because it looked like this one was blocked more than any of those because we were following the. I just got out here. About okay, all right. Y'all be right. safe, please be all safe. Right. We got to take care of each other out here, okay? You know it was inevitable, though, right? I keep telling people, look, man, I'm not for the violence. But it was inevitable. So, we'll go down in the streets of Dallas and drag race. So the protesters are throwing rocks now. Which way are they coming? Jackson. They're coming down this way. It's just that we were here at the beginning of the night and this whole intersection was blocked off. And it's still the only place that I've personally seen that's just stayed consistently with a high police presence. I don't know if it's because the federal building is here. Yeah, the federal building's over there. All right, they're getting ready. Some shit's about to go down here right now. We're staying alive. I need to get up there though. Hey, are the five cops who murdered Tony Timba? Are they on duty tonight? Yeah. Okay. Hey, just sleep your eyes twice with the five kids who murdered Tony Timba on the street. They're working tonight. You know, just sleep twice. And if you see them, you gotta stay this way. You gotta stay this way. We got a large group coming this way. They're throwing rocks. I, we're, I'm pressed. I want to be in front of them. I don't think they're gonna. No, you don't. You don't have a duty to do that. You, you have a, you have a duty to protect the First Amendment, but you don't have a duty to keep people safe. Yeah. How many rule? How many rulings have you seen that said you do not have a duty to keep people safe? You're not keeping us safe. You're keep you're preventing us from getting the story of what's going on up there. Why are you doing that? Why why can't I just take care of myself? The only person that I don't feel safe from is you. Yeah, the only person I don't feel safe from is you. You fucking piece of shit. You know why they're out here throwing shit at you, right? Cuz you're so goddamn fucking controlling. This was inevitable. This is just the beginning, man. I've been telling you, I've been telling you guys for years. This is just the beginning. It's gonna start looking more like. Hey, 
Hey, uh, you that said I can't walk that way, I need your name, buddy. Chief Castro. Chief Castro? All right. And you're and you're not letting me document what's going on? All right, thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Master. Thank you, Master. Next time, mind your own fucking business. So they, they shot tear gas and, and rubber, or a bomb, uh, smoke bombs at people. Dispersed the crowd into the city. And after they started shooting people with bullets and smoke bombs, citizens escalated and started breaking windows. All right, so everybody's moving into this intersection. They're all moving down here. I don't know what it is about this intersection. Oh, they're going to they're going to corral everyone in here. That's what it is. Yeah, we'll go out to this end. They're going to corral everybody in here. Right behind you. Right behind you. I don't want you to get scared. All right. Hey, are you guys getting ready to what do you, what's going on at this intersection? You don't know? Keep walking? What do you mean keep walking? Why can't you guys act decent? Why can't you act decent, man? Why can't you just act decent, man? I don't get it. I just ask you a question. Why do you got to treat me like a dog? Thanks, Pat Kishamil. Dallas County Sheriff's did after that tornado. But we'll be smarter. We'll put on face masks. So if you want to do it at the liquor store, can I get your name, man? And I'll be on my way. Hey, can I get your name and I'll be on my way, buddy? What's that? What is it? I'm going to try and read it from here. S O L D E. What is it, man? I don't see why it's so difficult, man. You don't have to earn the hate. You don't have to earn it. See that see that's all you got to do. Hey man, this is where you can go. Just inform people, you know. So, for whatever reason, this intersection right here is incredibly important to them. All I know is you've got the federal building over there. They're staging up quite a bit over here. Uh, we thought we were done, but these pigs can't not just leave us alone, dude. <laughs> what city ordinance or law is it that I can't walk in the sidewalk? We have a black dog, right? Back up! Back up, hey, man! Hey, David, David, David! He's vi hey, he's violent. He wants to hurt people. What city ordinance or law is it that says I can't walk on the sidewalk? Huh? What city ordinance is it? What law is it, dude? Don't look at me like that, dumbass. They want to hurt people. They they want to hurt people. What law is it, dude? They want to hurt what people. What law is it that says I can't walk on the sidewalk that way? Huh? Hey, the protest is is. Yeah, the guys down there we're not even the we're not even with them but we're starting to see we're starting to see why they got a problem hey you guys when you go up, doing up one people call me 
No, we'll be smarter than the Dallas County Sheriffs that did it a few months ago. We'll put face masks on. Again, we won't try to return the items to other people, okay? We'll be a little bit smarter. Okay, guys, but give me up when you do that shit. Are you guys going to be moving? You're going to be moving up? Or are you holding this position? Dude, I'm a, I'm a nice guy, man. Usually. I'm a pretty nice guy. Strap that shit down. We'll take all the good stuff. We'll take the walkies. We'll take the bikinis. We'll take the DeWalt's, dude. But we'll be smart about it. Or if you want to hit up that liquor store like that Dallas Police Officer. Thanks, Mike Jones. We'll do that, too. I don't drink, but we can sell the liquor somewhere. <clears throat> yeah, I'm ready to leave for the day, but they've got the sidewalk blocked off, so we can't get back to our vehicle. Yeah, it was fucking pigs that did all that shit. Fucking Dallas County Sheriff's. Need some water and food, but... Those fucking pigs, as they always do, kill their soccer citizens, fucking brought up the store. They only got caught because your dumb fucking pigs and took it to other home people. David needs to back up. They want to hurt somebody. Hey, David, they want to hurt people tonight. They want to hurt people. Yeah, that's Dallas. You've made bail in Super Chat tonight. Thanks, Jake, uh, Jacob Shelby. Hey, dude, they want to hurt people tonight. I guarantee you they were arresting people earlier today for cussing at them for free speech. know what ordinance that is in the city of Dallas for the sidewalk being closed where I can't walk on it? I wouldn't I wouldn't uh, worry about what laws are because if you haven't noticed they don't care about law. They'll fuck you up no matter what. There doesn't need to be an ordinance to fuck you up. We were gonna leave but then they just start writing they keep running their mouth at James. Well, we needed to cross right there to get out to where we parked. But, uh, man, if I had to guess, I'd say it's the federal building that they're protecting. Because they don't seem to care about anything else in town, man. They didn't care about the town. But you probably got... 200 officers right here? Yeah. So that was the chief of police that was telling us that, uh, is that the chief? He said chief. Chief Hall is the chief of police. So who's that guy that's saying he's chief? As far as I know, she hasn't resigned. Uh -huh. I don't watch mainstream media though. I thought I would have heard wind if she did resign. So I don't know who that dude is. He says he's the chief and he's violating rights himself, so. <laughs> chief Castro. All right, you want to try and go around? I don't think we can get to... Hey, are the five cops who murdered Tony Timba, are any of them here tonight? Step forward so I can see you. Hey, they want to kill people tonight too, David. Like, blink twice if they're here. Let me know. Give me like a thumbs up or something. You got federal police right here. The five cops who murdered Tony Timba on the road are here tonight. I'm sure let's, they're here. Let's go around.
They were grabbing people earlier for yelling at them. I guess the sidewalk's closed, but good luck. You, they might let you through if you don't have a camera. It's they got the sidewalk closed, but they might let you through if you don't have a camera. Oh, yeah, oh, there's a, the well, there's another federal building right there across that or past that light and to the right. That's um, where the peaceful people were gathered Early. when we first got here was right in front of a federal building. All right. Try and get us back to the truck. Is it this way? Yeah. Then... Hello, Ken J. It's always nice to see you. No ED. Pennsylvania. Counterterrorism. Hey, thanks, uh, Chuckster. Thunder rolls. How does the song go? These boots are made for walking, and that's just what they'll do. Thank and you. one of these days, they're going to walk all over you. Smashed out. Smashed out all the McDonald's windows. What time is it? 11.59. Sarah Tay's in the house. I wonder if I can buy a whole pallet of water at Costco yet. <laughs> I'll throw it in the bed of the truck and come out and hand out waters tomorrow night. Yeah. Put a whole pallet of water in the bed of the truck. Ouch. <laughs> what city are you in? Dallas. Dallas, Texas. Hey, thanks, Terry. Terry Golson. Oh, shoot. So we're just trying to get back to the car so we can go home. But they've got a lot of stuff blocked off. Hey guys, I know you got a lot of pent up energy. Try not to go home and beat your wife, all right? Do that, do that one, okay? this going to turn green? I'm sitting here waiting for a green light where no traffic can go through. <laughs> hey, are any of the five officers who murdered Tony Temba up the street, are they here tonight? Step forward and self-identify yourself. Man up. That's all right. Your blue line gang will protect you, dude. Hey, you should leave boots so we can get to the truck. <laughs> hey, thank you for my freedoms, everybody. I appreciate it. Thank you for keeping me safe. Take care. Have a good one, guys. Hey, thank you for keeping me safe. Who's this? State patrol? Yeah. State trooper? I appreciate it. I How feel you much doing? safer with y'all here. Good job, guys. Way to go. Can I get one of those blue stickers from my car? How you guys doing? Yeah, man, they're totally protecting the federal building right here. 
Like they don't care about anything else in town but this building. That's why they blocked me. Yeah. That's why I asked them earlier. Yeah. I mean, you probably got hundreds of officers over here. And the only thing they're protecting is the federal building. Whole rest of the city, they followed them around. Let them bust out windows. They didn't care. They don't care about the small business owner. But you've got hundreds of units surrounding the federal building. What are they hiding? <laughs> so rumor has it uh, Epstein's not dead actually. He's inside of this building. Yeah, that's what I said. <laughs> He's actually in there. He's keeping him prisoner. Lick boots, man. We need to we need to get out of here. <clears throat> How's it going guys? Yeah. You want to drive? Yeah, fine. You pay on your way out? Because we went into paid parking, didn't we? Yeah, we did. I hope you're supposed to pay on your way out because I didn't pay when we went in. <laughs> Federal building likely has a donut shop. <laughs> they did this in Minneapolis the other night. They let them burn down the city. Well, they sent a hundred cops up to that cop's house. Yeah. <clears throat> They're picking like the, the only place in town that you're not allowed to touch. Why that federal building, I wonder? I mean, they're not, they're not at the police station. They're not at the city hall. And there's another federal building right up the street from this one. But they're here protecting this one. No, oh, there's no... Yeah, just make sure and lick boots. I'm gonna tell them we need to get out of here. Don't uh, don't make them mad. I'm trying to go home. We're gonna stay here on that. I don't care, but I'm trying to go home, man. The truth is, this is like a mafia. You know, they're they're paid protection, and if you if you lick their boots and their balls and you treat them like they're your master, then you can do whatever you want. Hell, you could murder people. Yeah. Really, all we want to use it for is to get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> you can get them to go murder your neighbor, too. I don't think we're going to be able to get out of here. I got over here. All right, I'll go lick the boots. Hey, what's up, y'all? Hey, I need to get out of here. Okay. So I'm in this parking lot. Can I come out here? Oh, you parked right here? Yeah. In this parking lot? Yeah. Oh, you're leaving? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, if we'll let you do if you're parked okay. here. Okay. Is there a median? Well, there's an exit here, and it's, it's just this road that you got blocked. But the exit is right here, and then there's one on that side, but that's all blocked also. Well, if you parked here, that should let you out. We'll, we'll move so you can get out of here. All right. Cool. I appreciate it, y'all. You too. Hey, David. Bootlicking worked. Yeah, of course. But if I went up there and I said, 
Get the fuck out of my way and let me out of here, bitch. They'd block me in all night. Slurp, slurp. So yeah, I was supposed to pay before I got here. Or uh, before I parked it. Maybe free at night though. Cause this thing doesn't look like it's even on. Oh, here we go. All right, let me go find the spot that I'm in. Pay in advance. Yeah, pay in advance. That's all right, I'm gonna pay it anyways. Unless I've got a ticket on my windshield and then I'm not gonna pay it, I'll pay the ticket. Uh, wow, we're in 44 and 45. <laughs> David parked. There's no ticket, I'm gonna go pay it. It doesn't say it's free at night, so I'm just gonna do it. I'm only gonna pay for one of the two spots David took though. <laughs> um, lot C, 45, spot 45. C 45 Okay 8 hours is $15 Insert credit card Card is authorized. All right, we didn't break any laws tonight then. Not even parking laws. You guys know how I love to park wrong. tripod Dude, we got to get some water yeah. you have the keys right yeah I'll try to get the live you working for tomorrow night so that we can have the clearest live stream of any protest out there Hi, Wobbly Boost. Thanks for checking in. And I'm going to stay live. So they said that we can come out uh, here. All right. No, I got to I gotta end it. You want me to hold it? Yeah, that's fine. Hold it. James can hold it. You want to stay live? That's fine. Okay. You don't have a magnet on the back of it. Otherwise, we could stick it right up there. Yeah. How do you get the AC? It's going. Uh, you want it colder? There's yours. 60 degrees. So, uh, yeah, you just exit out the same one we came in, and they said they'll move their cars and let you out. Thanks for looking the boots. Yeah, man. Appreciate it. Yeah. You're a good man, James. Yeah. Otherwise, we'd be here all night, man. You remember when I got quarantined into that alleged crime scene in Tucson <laughs> for five hours? I heard about it. I was sleeping. I had to work. Right. <laughs> so this isn't really an exit either, but it uh, the exits are all blocked on that side. You can probably go into that turn lane and loop around so they don't have to move their cars. Yeah, just go around that way. You can go, we can go over the curb. Hey, if you fit right there, man. Yeah. Fit. Oh, okay. Thank you guys. There you go. Bye to the piggies. 
them boots. Hearts and kisses, pigs, says Bob Bobo. <laughs> Hearts and kisses. Park's a little <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, David got us right up in there. I'm gonna try and set this up. Oh, that's fine. Uh, it's not gonna work. We're all good. We're safe now. Okay. All right, bye to David's uh, fans and followers. <laughs> I'm gonna wait until we get on the freeway to end mine. Oh, oh sorry. That's alright, I'm just trying to find a good place. To... Oh, it's up there. I'm gonna wait, yeah, I'll, I'll end mine after we get on the freeway. So your truck is like driving a Yaw truck, kind of. Like yeah. I'm used to. Yeah, it's got that one ton, one ton steering. It, rack and pinion steering is super tight the steering on this is it's as tight as it'll get man because when i first got it it was the first time i'd driven a truck like this other than like a u-haul and a commercial three-ton truck that i drove and i thought there was something wrong with it i was like man the steering is too sloppy i took it in they're like man it don't get any tighter than that on these trucks <laughs> this thing is tight yeah, it's a one-ton truck F-350. We, we brought it out here because it gets good mileage. <laughs> we, were, we were actually using it to move David. So we had a big trailer hooked up to it. And we were moving David and saw that there was protests down here. So we <laughs> took the truck we were in. Anyone got a, a link to a good protest live stream after this? I would, uh, I would look at Unicorn Riot. Uh, I would look on, yeah, search Unicorn Riot on YouTube. They have been live streaming in Minneapolis for the last two nights. Um, another one that's been live streaming out there, I can't remember the, the numbers. It was Lucky something, but it's like five numbers, and I can't remember what they are. There's two channels that have been live streaming in Minneapolis the last two nights. Unicorn Ride is on IP2 network. I don't know what that means. I appreciate you guys all uh, watching the live stream tonight. Glad I got to go out and participate in documenting the downfall of the United States of America. I will continue to document the downfall for you all. Um, I'm assuming there'll probably be another protest out there tomorrow, so I'm going to try and get the live view up and going. Um, I think I may have not paid the bill on it. I had my uh, my card canceled. I had a fraud alert on my card, and so it got canceled, and so I got a new card number, so all of my automatic payments don't come out. And I think that's what happened. So uh, I'll try to have that going, and also I'll try and get in touch with uh, the guys who built the guillotine and see if we can't bring the guillotine out tomorrow for the protest. There we go. Somebody said it's in the chat. Lucky 43113. Lucky 43113. That's uh, that's another channel that's live streaming out there in Minneapolis. Is that the only one we didn't switch over? Yeah, Mrs. Freeman, because I haven't used it since the card got canceled, I think. So I didn't notice it until tonight when it wouldn't work. Lucky. 43113. That's a live stream y'all can jump to. I don't know if they're live right now. I've been watching them in the last couple nights, so. Everyone have an awesome night. Thank you for the super chat. Love you guys tomorrow.